Hi guys, and there, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial will be a continuation of hardware versus easy way tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll look at the common problem scattering object on deforming geometry. First, we'll look at the problem. I will explain why the problem happens. Then I show, do, show you the solution. And then we look at two ways how to solve this problem. Okay, if you look at this setup, I have this test geometry crack and I unpack it and I scatter uh, points on the geometry here. I make the point size a little bit bigger and on the other side I have a box with uniform scale of 1, uh, 0.05, I pack it and I just copy to point my geometry on the scatter point here with a copy to point. If you look at the result, you will see that the geometry or this box is flickering here. And we look now at the solution here. If you look at this setup, this is everything fine. Let's see how this problem occur. What I did here, I first blast the hammer. I template the geometry and I scattered two points. And as you see, if we just play the animation, this scatter point or this scatter soap, try to scatter two points over this deforming surface and it is calculating every frame the new position. Now let's see how to solve this problem. First we do, what we do, we just time shift it. We just freeze it on the first frame. I just create a time shift and delete this expression. And the next step to do, we have to figure out, if you look carefully on your surface, we have to figure out on which primitive this point is sitting and also the position within the primitive. For example, if this point sits on primitive number, I cannot show the number here because it's templated. Just look here. Okay, maybe it's number of this guy is A3, eight, five, four, for example, or eight, five, three. This primitive has also its own UVs. This name for this UVs in entristic UVs is nothing to do with the UVs that the crack already has on the vertices, is the UVs for every primitive. What do we have to figure out on which primitive our point sits and the position within these primitives using the entristic uh, primitive UVs? For getting the a number of primitive and also the intrinsic primitive UVs, I use XYZ distance vex function. First, what I do, I create attribute wrangle running on the points because we have scattered two points here. And first I create two variables one type vector for primitive. This will be my UVs for primitives. That's why it's a vector. And I have one integer. It will show me the number of primitives. And then what I do here, I just saying, hey, just look at the position all coming inside the first input. And 
write the primitive number and the intrinsic UVs inside these variables. If you already know how this attribute wrangle works, it works on the first input, everything will be written on the first input. That means these two points will become these attributes. Okay, let's see how it works. It now just saying, okay, look at the position of this point coming inside. Look where on this geometry is sitting. Let's see now, just look at here. Okay, for example, take a position, look at the first input and figure out where this point is sitting and give me the primitive number and also the primitive UVs of the position because now we have the very very perfect position on the corner but sometimes if you have more than two um, points it can be here in the middle or somewhere here and what this function does as I already told you it look at the geometry or it's grab this point look at the position of this point and figure out to which primitive it belongs and also which position on this primitive this point has and write it on this point. Let's see the result here. If you look at the spreadsheet, you will see, okay, we have two points. One point is sitting on primitive with number 24347 and the second one is sitting here. Let's see if it's true. What I did here, I just blast these two primitives and you see, in fact, these two points sitting on these two primitives. Where is another one? You see, we have the same thing here. If you look at the point, we have the primitives now. And if you look at the UVs, these are the position within the primitives. Okay, let's look at the two ways that you can solve this problem. The first way will be the hard way because this is the exactly replication of my explanation. If you, I hope this made sense for you. If not, you have the easy way. Okay, first hard way, this is the same thing what I do here. I just time shift it on a first frame. I scatter now 1000 points. The same thing here. I just create these two variables, one for UVs, primitive UVs, and one from primitive numbers. And with X, Y, Z distance, I just grabbing the geometry on a first input and figure out to which um, to which primitive and which UVs this position of this incoming point belongs. And then we just taking the prim UV function. And now we have the uh, primitive number and also prim UVs of every primitive. And now we just figure out the location and we just adding the position to our points. It's the same thing. Imagine you have more than two points first with this prim UV, you just figure out to which primitive every point or every point belongs and also this function figure out the UVs 
of the primitive and with this one you're just saying okay just look at the primitive look at the uvs give a position out and take the point the belonging to and put it to this position now you see if you look here you have the same result you have no flickering okay let's look now on the easy example you can look at this way this scatter node already have something similar what this attribute wrangle does it gives you a prim uvs and also primitive numbers if you look here on a scatter under output attribute you can just output your primitive number and also primitive uvs and if you look carefully here If you look now on your geometry spreadsheet, you will get the same thing here. You have the numbers and you have also the UVs. I just named them a little bit different here because the name you can specify yourself. And in this case, the Houdini just named them like this. Okay. And this one is just doing the same thing that this guy does is interpolating the position based on the prim number and also intrinsic prim evs okay what i did here i just scatter points time shifted and act, I activate on output attributes these two guys and after time shift I bring the time shifted geometry inside the first input and the animated geometry inside the second one and you will get the same result you see we have no flickering at all Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this one, just give me a like and subscribe my channel. And I'll see you in the next one with exciting tips and tricks that I use in a production. At the end, I'd like to apologize for delay for those of you guys. They are waiting for files of the introduction to flip and also introduction to destruction simplified uh, tutorials we have the testing um, now period and it will take a little bit time in consideration okay i see you in the next one bye guys